today we are going to be talking about chapter 3 season 2 trailer secret that you can find at the sanctuary also this super funny glitch if you want to shout out like these guys like this video use code smjam and comment down below i use your code all right guys so first of all quickly i want to show you guys this super funny glitch that you can do right now now to do this glitch we're gonna need a web shooter and then also we're gonna need a bunch of weapons as well i've already have the weapons right here all i need is a web shooter for some reason i cannot find it i'm pretty sure there used to be like bunch of web shooters around here let's go around this corner right here maybe it's on this tree right here hey yo let's go i found the web all right now let me quickly show you guys this glitch all right now you want to equip it as soon as your character like puts its arms down you want to swap the weapon to any weapon that you want and then you want to jump at the same time okay and if you do that you're gonna get like a really funny glitch all right so let's go ahead and do this okay so i'm gonna swap to a weapon i'm gonna swap back and as soon as my character puts its arms down i'm going to jump swap the weapon and then oh yeah nothing happened okay i didn't know why it didn't work right there let me quickly do that i get it okay, come on come on bro as soon as the arm goes up i'm going to jump and swap the weapon and as you can see right there bro you get this really funny glitch i mean what is she doing with her left arm and what's funny about this is that you can actually shoot as well you can see right here even though my arm is down i can like shoot forward for some reason i mean this has to be one of the most weirdest glitch i've ever done all right you know what let's try out with a sniper as well let's see how that actually looks with this glitch oh my god bro look at this fam i mean look at this i can even like shoot i mean look at its arm bro what is he doing oh my god bro look at this okay now let's talk about season two what you can expect the seven imagine order so there is a secret at this location right here sanctuary which is actually home of the seven but there are actually a lot more secrets over here that you don't know about and that's why i'm here at the sanctuary right now to show you guys all those secrets okay so obviously we've got the foundation right here the scientists used to be here by the way it's missing for some reason it's probably gone on holiday or something but our secret right here our first secret is actually you can find at the center of this location you can see right here in the middle you can see a bunch of these stones and you can see right there we got one two three four five six seven stones now each stone actually represents a member of the seven and also what's more cool about this is that if you actually look at the symbols on the stone as well each stone will give you a hint of who they belong to and that's lead us to our topic who's going to be the next seven that's going to be revealed all right so let me quickly give you example okay for example i'm pretty sure this symbol right here belongs to the scientist and you can find that out by looking at the scientist's helmet it basically has this symbol on his helmet and that's how you find out which stone belongs to who and i think this belongs to the foundation i could be wrong it kind of looks like the foundation and also if you come over here i think this belongs to the paradigm and i'm not quite sure exactly why there is a basket right in front of here and also what's cool thing about paradigm is that paradigm is in fact missing right now she has done something that's pissed off the foundation and the foundation is not happy and so that's why she's actually missing right now but there's a rumor going on that the paradigm is in fact a singularity and if you guys don't know who singularity was singularity is the person who actually built the robots i believe in chapter one season eight or nine let me know in the comments down below if you guys know but she was the one who built the mecha team leader who's in fact the robot that fought against the monster and as we all know there's actually a bunch of like monster versus mech we all know near tilted tower we have the monster skeleton that's been dug up by the imagine order which we're going to talk about in just a little bit and this belongs to the visitor who was the very first seven that we were introduced to all the way back in chapter one when he actually built that rock and he flew into the sky now you might be wondering at this one right here who does this belong to now this right here is the member of the seven that actually plays a part in season two which i'm going to talk about in just a little bit but before that let's quickly go to this one right here now we don't exactly know who this one belongs to and also this one right here as well but we have a clue because all the way back in season five the foundation mentioned the name of the sisters yes 
Yes, the Foundation asked Jonesy if he can take him, the Foundation, to the sisters. Since we know the Paradigm is missing and we know the scientist was around here as well, we've seen him. And the Foundation as well is walking around here as well. And the visitor you can find at this location right here around this area. That leaves us with two of the members that is missing and also has not been mentioned as well. So my understanding is that these two members are actually kidnapped by the Imagine Order. And these two members are in fact the sisters. Now here is an image of how the sisters could possibly look like because these two images was leaked of these two characters and they look very similar to be honest with you. They do look like sisters. And the foundation mentioning the sisters in season five. So my understanding is that this and that is in fact the sister stones. I'm not sure when exactly we will be introduced to the sisters. My guessing either season two or at some point in the season, maybe after they introduced the origin. That's right, people. This is in fact belongs to this guy called Origin. Now he's actually a new member of the seven that we will be introduced, I believe in season two or maybe this live event. And this is how this character looks like. You can see this character sort of looks like the foundation, but like a skinnier version. Now this concept was made by EA based on an image that leaked by Fortnite. Now we don't exactly know what part he's going to play in this live event or next season, but we know that he will be introduced at some point. So you might be wondering what is the theme of season two? Now, if you didn't know, the Fortnite map is stuck in a loop. Now we saw this happen in chapter two. For example, chapter one, season four was a superhero season and chapter two, season four was a superhero season as well. Now, if you use the same concept, chapter two, season two was ghost versus shadows. And now we are starting to see the Imagine Order come to chapter three map and the chapter three map is ruled by the seven. So it's very obvious to see there is going to be a huge battle in next season. So my guessing the next season is going to be themed around the seven versus the Imagine Order. And we are going to have different bases, like I said before, around the Fortnite map with different bosses and mythic weapons. And maybe vaults are going to be back again. Everyone was a huge fan of season two of chapter two. And I think Fortnite knows this as well. So my guessing is that the season two of chapter three is going to be very similar to that season, similar to like the agency and the Midas was the boss of that map. And he carried like a mythic weapon. And he had a bunch of henchmen around as well. We already have that on the map and that is the sanctuary where the rock or the foundation is actually the boss of that map. He carries a mythic weapon. There are a bunch of henchmen around the map as well. We also have a bunch of these rockets that will fly at some point, maybe during a live event. And now we are starting to see the Imagine Order slowly coming to the Fortnite Chapter 3 map. And they are going to set up a bunch of bases around the Fortnite map surrounding the sanctuary and they will be preparing to fight against the seven as well bringing mythic weapons having bunch of like giant vaults loads of like henchmen i mean we all know how fun a chapter two season two was so my guessing is that this is going to be as fun as well we've all been through a lot the last few years and there's much more you don't even remember you've all fought a good fight but until we set the zero point free we'll be facing threats like the last reality, and worse, there will be no escaping it. That's why I need your help to destroy the imagined order. As long as they're exploiting the zero point, everything is in danger. With your help, we can free ourselves from this place and leave the loop for good. 